The movie begins with a spy named Argyle, who invites a beautiful woman named Lagrange for a dance. The two dances, while dancing and exchanging glances Lagrange signals multiple armed men and women surround them it appears that Lagrange knows Argyle's identity and is just playing along Argyle turns around and Argyle pretends to converse with the guards signaling his accomplice Kiera. Kiera promptly activates the smoke allowing Argyle to escape from those surrounding him as the two make their getaway. Lagrange suddenly showers them with bullets hitting Kira, who falls wounded. Argyle rushes to help her but their commander orders him to pursue Lagrange as they will send a doctor for Kiera. He switches vehicles and follows Lagrange, he chases Lagrange until his car completely breaks down. Lagrange manages to get away, so Argyle calls another agent Wyatt who is having coffee at a local cafe. He informs Wyatt that Lagrange will pass by his location prompting Wyatt to stop sipping his coffee and swiftly apprehend Lagrange from her motorcycle using just one hand. They all together dine at the cafe and interrogate Lagrange. They check her cell phone and discover that she is an assassin ordered by their same commander to kill Argyle. The two get shocked by the revelation. Lagrange takes a fluid from her necklace and applies it to her tongue causing her to die. Moments later upon learning their commander's true intention they dispose their communication device in the coffee. These scenes are part of the book written by a famous novelist named Ellie Conway. In her popularity many reporters and avid fans attended her press conference asking various questions about her personal life and future plans for her novel series. After the press conference Ellie immediately continued writing the next chapters of her novel. The story continues in Hong Kong where Argyle made a deal with a beautiful woman named Leha with a goal to retrieve his file. Argyle traded three gold bars for a phone to arrange a meeting with Leha's employer. Instead of enjoying the place and spending time with Leha Argyle quickly proceeded with his mission this marks the beginning of Argyle's journey to obtain the so-called silver bullet. While working Ellie's mother, Ruth suddenly called. They had a video call and Ruth greeted him also inquiring about her novel. After discussing Ellie's novel Ruth bid farewell. Due to her mother's advice Ellie changed the scene between Argyle and Leah. The fireworks in the background suddenly stopped and Argyle's dialogue changed abruptly depicting Ellie's changing mind. The background disappeared. Like Ellie, Argyle ran out of words to say because of this Ellie decided to unwind as the stress affected her writing. While on the train a man caught her attention as he approached. He asked if the seat in front of her was vacant. Ellie was attracted to him staring at him. After a while she snapped out of it and said the seat was free the man left to get his belongings in order to move in front of her. All of a sudden a man named Aiden sat in front of her she tried to tell him that the seat was taken but he didn't listen. He casually placed his belongings on the overhead compartment and sat in front of her. Ellie saw him take out the book she had written and read it in front of her. A few moments later Aiden recognized Ellie's face on the book cover and immediately struck up a conversation. While talking Ellie couldn't help but imagine the character Argyle on Aiden. She tried to shake off the thought but she continued to visualize it. While Aiden was speaking a fan approached Ellie and asked for an autograph. However it turned out the man was an assassin who attempted to kill Ellie using a pen with a sharp needle inside. When Aiden saw this he quickly intervened and engaged in combat with him. All the passengers seemed to be attempting to kill Ellie. As Aiden fought she continued to see Argyle in her mind. Due to her playful imagination Ellie continued to see Argyle in Aiden. On the other side Carlos arrived with his armed associates. The two ran until they reached the end. They managed to jump out of the moving train using a parachute escaping safely. With the consecutive events Ellie fainted. Moments later Ellie woke up on a couch inside a house a man arrived and introduced himself as Aiden. Ellie didn't recognize him at first because he had shaved off his beard and cut his hair. Aiden quickly reminded Ellie of who he was and explained the recent events. He told her that a group called the Division a large syndicate organization was targeting her because her writings seemed to predict their future. To prove his claims he showed Ellie that Carlos and his men were inside her house searching for something. Meanwhile at their enemy's camp director Ritter, the mastermind reprimanded his guards for failing to kill Ellie. Out of frustration, he loaded his shotgun and shot one of his guards in the back. Aiden decided to change locations so they traveled in a car. Inside the car Aiden sneezed several times because he was allergic to cats. Aiden also explained to Ellie the intentions of those pursuing them a hacker named Bakunin who had gathered information about the division compiling it into a master file on a USB that looked like a silver bullet Bakunin was killed and the division wanted to destroy the evidence when they read about the silver bullet in Ellie's book. They targeted her thinking she was involved after a short drive. Ellie and Aiden reached a private plane for their journey inside the private plane. Ellie noticeably suffered from fear and anxiety. 
Aiden comforted her and managed to calm her down after a long trip they arrived in London from Colorado. Upon arrival they discussed their next plan. Aiden explained that they needed to find the master key first to expose the division. At Ritter's headquarters one of the hackers quickly located visuals of Ellie. When Ritter found out he ordered his hackers to trace Ellie's exact location. Ellie continued the story of Argyle. Argyle entered a car where Wyatt was also present. Curious about the communication device Leha gave him. Argyle and Wyatt tried to open it they found a chip inside encrypted with data. Knowing Aiden was an agent Ellie asked about data encryption. Aiden showed her the laptop and helped Ellie understand it thinking of a specific location for the novel. Ellie suddenly had an address in mind which she included in her story. Aiden decided to visit the address Ellie mentioned. Through CCTV footage Ritter learned the exact location where they were headed and quickly deployed his men. The two went to an address with a standing hotel and entered one of its rooms it was locked but luckily Aiden knew how to open it so they managed to get in. Ellie immediately noticed that it seemed like she had been in that room before and the wall appeared to be a false cover. Aiden was not convinced but after a while they discovered a secret passage on the floor. Upon opening it they found a steel bag containing money, a notebook and an electrical cord. Ellie quickly took the notebook from Aiden thinking it might contain clues about the master key location. While discussing Ritter's men armed with high caliber guns and explosives arrived in a black van. The two were hiding in the secret passage when the armed men realized they were gone. One of them immediately reported to Ritter. They were about to leave when Ellie's cat suddenly meowed. With no other choice, Aiden had to fight them before they could be overtaken. Aiden used his combat expertise to take down the armed men one by one. One of them tried to back up but Aiden quickly shot him. After Ritter's reinforcements arrived they had no choice but to go through the fire exit leading to the building's rooftop. Aiden quickly barricaded the door causing Ellie to panic. Aiden spotted a soft surface on the rooftop when he saw it he immediately told Ellie they would jump onto it. Seeing Ellie hesitating he grabbed her cat from behind and dropped it without any problems. The cat landed safely on the soft surface. Ritter's men were about to enter so they had no choice but to pull off. An Assassin's Creed move the two leapt off the building onto the floating soft surface landing safely and quickly boarding a boat to escape later that day they checked into a hotel to spend the night. While in the bathroom Ellie talked to herself she started to hallucinate again seeing Argyle instead of her reflection. Afterward she came out of the bathroom and Aiden went in. Ellie's cat accidentally opened the bathroom door and Ellie overheard Aiden talking. She heard him reporting to a spy agency causing her to become alarmed and she decided to silently escape. Meanwhile Ellie called her mother and informed about her location and what had happened to her. Ruth quickly booked a flight and went to London in a hotel. She met her daughter welcoming her with a hug. While they were talking the doorbell rang. Ritter appeared at the door dressed casually. When Ellie saw him instead of showing fear she seemed relieved and referred to Ritter as her dad. He entered the room pretending and acting innocently seeing Ellie anxious. When Ellie mentioned the notebook they found hidden under the floor. Ritter quickly took it from his bag and read its contents. While reading Ritter smiled at the contents acting concerned about Ellie's story he continued to search for possible clues about the master key's location. Suddenly Aiden breached the door holding a gun and taking Ritter as his hostage causing panic for Ruth and Ellie. Aiden then threatened Ritter to reveal his true identity eventually exposing himself and leaving Ellie shocked. Upon hearing this Ruth pulled out her gun and pointed it at Ellie. Fortunately Aiden quick shot her and knocked Ritter to become unconscious. Still shocked by the turn of events Ellie asked Aiden why he shot her mother. Aiden calmed Ellie and assured her that they were not her real parents. The two quickly escaped. While in the car Ellie cried upon learning the truth because she had grown attached to the people she thought were her parents. She was shocked to discover that director Ritter and Ruth were actually members of the organization. Aiden didn't disclose everything at once understanding how challenging it could be for Ellie to process such information. Director Ritter and Ruth had manipulated Ellie making her believe she was their daughter. The next morning they arrived at a secluded location where Alfred Solomon also known as Alfie an ex-CIA agent awaited them. He was a character in Ellie's book and she was thrilled to meet him face to face. Alfie turned Ellie around his farm and house on one side he opened a hidden room behind a wall revealing his office. Alfie took the opportunity to disclose to Ellie that she was an agent in the CIA. From the monitor he flashed her picture with information also revealing her true name as Agent Rel Kyle. Unable to believe this Ellie went to confront Aiden thinking she was being fooled by Alfie. However Aiden stood by Alfie's revelations and emphasized their accuracy. 
Meanwhile Aiden continued to reveal everything he showed Ellie pictures and the true identity of the people she believed were her parents. He explained that she was one of the best CIA agents but after an accident in coma the division brainwashed her into believing she was a writer. Visual triggers were given to make her memories resurface without her fully knowing her real identity. Their plan succeeded leading to the creation of four books that helped the division stay ahead. Aiden also showed some photos of them together including Kiera. He explained that the characters and events Ellie wrote in her book were true as they were memories from her past operations. As an agent Ellie gradually realized the truth and finally believed Aiden they get interrupted when Alfie suddenly calls for them inside the office. Alfie learns that Bakunin sent the master key to someone named Saba Albad. They immediately proceed with a mission to find Saba and go to Arabia. Before entering they undergo intense screening when it's seen that they don't have weapons they are allowed into a party where they disguise themselves wearing elegant clothes at the party. Saba recognizes Ellie and talks to her for a while. Eventually Saba gives her the silver bullet and while inside the room Ellie accesses the contents and sees something that escalates her worries. She goes straight to Aiden and when she is about to tell him what she found out. Ruth together with the division arrives. She reveals that Ellie worked for the division in the past and was one of their best assassins. Ellie got her hands on the flash drive and she was shocked to find her name there. Slowly as her memories start coming back she recalls that she was the one who killed Bakunin. After hearing all of this Aiden tries to confront Ruth but the sedatives kick and so Ruth Aiden and Ellie lose consciousness. Moments later Ellie gains consciousness and sees Ritter roasting the silver bullet in the fireplace. Ritter begins to brainwash her again and tells her to convince Aiden to reveal Alfie's location. They go to Aiden who is getting beaten up and Ellie tries to talk to him. However Aiden makes Ellie remember their memories together all of a sudden Ellie shoots Aiden in the chest and immediately loses consciousness. Ellie begins to side with the directors of the division and tries to trace Alfie using the tracking device they found Aiden wearing. Ellie brilliantly finds Alfie's location making the director happy. Little did they know it's all according to Ellie's plan in truth Ellie is trying to send the contents of the master key to Alfie. But it fails because she did it unauthorized. When Ritter sees this he tries to attack Ellie but she is too strong so the two directors get knocked down. She runs together with her cat to escape from the building. Surprisingly Aiden suddenly gains consciousness and takes down the guards. While Ellie is in the room full of guns Aiden comes and thinks at first that they are enemies however he calms down. Then Ellie tells him that Kiera was shot in the heart on a mission but she survived the near fatal bullet thanks to the vascular corridor. She adds that it's the same technique she used on him. At the end the two reconcile and team up once again they shoot at the multiple division agents trying to fire back at them. The partners dance in the middle of the division agents once again they do the lifting but this time it's Ellie who lifts Aiden up on top. They run out of bullets so the two decide to enter a vent Carlos follows them so they have no choice but to fight. In the retaliation of gunfire the gas is hit and the place is flooded with it. They cease fire because it could explode or create fire if hit again. Ellie thought of skating by placing a knife in her shoes. Ellie systematically took down Carlos' men one by one Ellie's movements in the gas were so fast that she seemed to assail the division agents like a whirlwind. Carlos engaged her in combat but Ellie's skillful moves proved too much and she managed to defeat him. Frustrated by the agent's failures Ritter himself descended to kill them carrying his shotgun. He attempted to shoot Ellie however Ellie's cat attack attacked Ritter like a tiger and Aiden eventually shot Ritter to end his life. Finally Ellie managed to start the upload the division wanted to stop her from transferring the file to Alfie and was willing to go to any extent. So Ruth hypnotized Ellie and made her turn against Aiden. Ellie turned on Aiden and he gave up as he just couldn't fight her. Ellie was hypnotized and she had no clue what she was doing. Ruth was playing a tune that triggered her and made her forget who she was. Ellie was just about to kill Aiden. Fortunately Kiera one of her colleagues who had worked on several missions with her knocked down Ruth. The music stopped and Ellie came back to her senses. Ellie and Aiden uploaded the file to the interface from where Alfie downloaded it. The three of them escaped by speedboat while Division was exposed. Though the people never got to know that the timid writer was the one who had led the mission and saved the world. Ellie completed her fifth book and the readers loved it. At the press conference Alfie Kiera and Aiden attended. Before the movie ended one of her fans in a yellow shirt asked a question. Ellie's face showed surprise when she saw that the fan is Argyle making him a real person and the movie concludes. I hope you have liked this movie recap. Please like share and subscribe for more real recaps.